Top 7 Manhwa where the main character is the youngest son. Welcome back, fellow manga and manhwa enthusiasts, to Anacol Media, your ultimate destination for captivating stories and unforgettable adventures. Today, we've got an exclusive treat in store for you, as we explore the captivating realm of manhwa where the youngest sons take center stage. In this special edition of our recommendations series, we proudly present the top 7 manhwa where the main character defies age expectations and embraces their destiny as the youngest son. From discovering hidden powers to facing formidable foes, these young heroes prove that age is no barrier to greatness. So, if you're ready to embark on a journey filled with action, emotions, and a sprinkle of youthful charm, stay tuned as we unveil the most extraordinary tales featuring the youngest sons in the world of Manhwa. Let's dive in. And when I feel like this, I'm immortal. 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 Number one, possessing a Miram clan's youngest son. The martial arts book that I discovered in the rundown comic store said, Will you, continue. When I woke up, I thought I was a noble but, I became dirt poor again. I got the unlucky short end of the stick. The ruined Miram world too, also is a fool for pointing fingers at everyone for being insufficient. I have to take down the faceless demon to get home. Save the original story to yourself. Let's just grow stronger and help the main character. That's how I'll get out of this world. Number 2. Bakibyal's Youngest Son to get back 13 years of hard work through betrayal, Yun Hai and Wu, the head of the Sanyang group, who lived like a servant and abandoned, just when he thought it was all over, he wake up as Jin Dujun, the grandson of Sanyang group chairman Jin. However, Jin Dujun, the youngest son of a Kibal family, is far from the right to inherit. Will he be able to become the final winner in a family political drama? Yun Hai and Wu's exhilarating revenge drama to swallow up the Sanyang group begins. Number 3. Legendary Youngest Son of the Marquis House I came here with only the goal of revenge. I overthrew the Tolkien Empire, a single nation that dominated the continent. I had always succeeded in gaining victory. I had accomplished all I needed to and was satisfied. That's why I accepted my approaching death. I no longer had a reason to live. And so my heart stopped beating. I definitely felt it stop. However, what in the world happened? It's not black magic and it doesn't seem like an illusion either. A boy with short, black hair was reflected in the mirror. I looked exactly like when I was 14, which was 20 years ago. A young boy, who hasn't lost his baby fat yet, patted his cheeks and murmured, How is this possible? I had returned, to the time filled with my regrets. Number 4. Youngest Son of the Nam Gung Clan This is the story of Nam Gung Deso, the youngest son of the Nam Gung Clan. After losing his danchen in the competition for the position of Vice Patriarch, he then faces an unexpected death out of nowhere and regresses into the past. The youngest son of the strongest clan. Such a title is way too bothersome. Let someone else become the strongest person or whatever. Can the former trash of the clan make the most out of his second chance at life? Number 5. Youngest son of the renowned Magic Clan. A flimsy plotline in a garbage setting. A string of words too embarrassing to even call a novel. Yet I ended up inside the pages of that very same novel I wrote. And as Rayson Maiton no less, a bastard of a side character who gets murdered at the age of 17. As the writer and creator of this world, I will now recreate the world of the character Rayson Maiton. Number 6. Youngest son of the renowned swordsmanship clan. Jin Runcandle was the youngest son of Runcandle, the land's most prestigious swordsman family, and the biggest failure in Runcandle history. He, who was kicked out miserably and came to a meaningless end, was given another chance. How do you want to use this power? I want to use it for myself. Memories of his past life, overwhelming talent, and a contract with God. The preparations to become the greatest are complete. Number 7. The youngest son of Habak Panga. Habak Peng family's best strength. Peng Jihyuk heads to the Nako region to save his family that fell into destruction due to the attack of the demon sect. But everything was a trap. At the moment of death, he felt the wrath of being the only one left from his beloved family. Again dot 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 if you give me a chance. Peng Jihyuk, who thought he was dead, woke up in the body of young Master Sa of the Peng family. And that concludes our thrilling countdown of the top 7 manhwa where the youngest sons shine brightly in their epic quests. We hope you enjoyed this selection of captivating stories and discovered some new favorites to add to your reading list. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow manga and manhwa enthusiasts. 
Also, make sure to subscribe to Anacole Media for more exciting recommendations, discussions, and insights into the fascinating world of graphic storytelling. As always, we love hearing from you. Let us know in the comments which manhwa featuring the youngest son you enjoyed the most or if there are any other themes you'd like us to explore in future videos. Thank you for joining us today. And until next time, happy reading and may your adventures in the world of manga and manhwa be as thrilling as the ones we've explored together here on Anacol Media.